Ingredient Rooms Centralized Ingredient Assembly Worker measures all ingredients and packages them and labels them for future use. Pre-measured ingredients are then delivered to preparation. Requestion if people in authority requisition a vehicle, building, or food, they formally demand it and take it for official use. Empty for full system. The bartender is required to retain empty liquor bottles, and then each empty liquor bottle is replaced with a full one at the beginning of the next shift. The empty bottles are then either broken or disposed of, as local beverage law requires. A physical inventory is a system in which an actual physical count and valuation of all inventory on hand is taken at the close of each counting on period. Physical inventory is an actual count of the goods in stock. This can involve counting, weighing, and otherwise measuring items as well as asking third parties for counts of inventory items that have been consigned to them. A perpetual inventory system is one in which the entire inventory is counted and recorded. A bin card is simply an index card or line in a spreadsheet that details addition to and deletions from given products inventory level. Bin cards are especially useful for food products such as staples and dry goods. A perpetual inventory system is an inventory management method that records when stock is sold or received in real time through the use of an inventory management system that automates the process. The back of the house, also known as BOH, is a term used for all the behind-the-scenes action that customers typically do not see. This usually includes the kitchen, where the food is prepared and cooked. Food cost is the ratio of a restaurant's cost of ingredients, food inventory, and the revenue that those ingredients generate when the menu items are sold. Managing the food and beverage production process When you have ordered and received the food and beverage products you believe will be purchased by your guests, your concern stirs towards the most important function of all, controlling the food and beverage production process. You do these things to take the first step in the production process, developing your kitchen production schedules. Free pouring. The lack of control resulting from free pouring alcohol is significant. It should never be allowed in the preparation of the majority of drinks your bartenders will serve. For example, in wine by the glass sales. In this situation, the wine glass also serve as a type of control device. Large operations, however, may even allow to utilize a dispensing system for their wines by the glass. Free pouring is also the most often necessary for a bartender to free pour when he or she must add extremely small amounts of a product as an ingredient in a drink recipe. For example, will be a bartender who must add a very small amount of dry vermouth to a large martini. Carry overs the presence of a food additive in a final product usually attributable to the usage of this food additive as a raw material during an upstream processing step. Next we have convenience or ready food. Convenience food is also tertiary processed food. It's food that is commercially prepared, often through processing. To optimize ease of consumption, such food is usually ready to eat without further preparation. The ready food is foods that have been prepared so they can be consumed as is, without any additional cooking, are ready to eat food. Liga are the best in our glass shape, stainless steel measure device you've seen in many a bar. These are cheap and easy to find in the most houseware stores. Matter bottle dispenser. These are spouts that automatically measure the amount of alcohol poured into each drink using a ball bearing system, which stops the flow of liquid at a collaborated amount. Usually, one ounce to two ounce in, in increments 
of 0.25 or 0.5 ohms. A total system, depending on sophistication and cost, the total bar system can perform one or all of the following tasks. First, recall bever beverage sales by branch. Second, record who made the sales. Third, record sales dollars and or past sales to a guest room full you in a in how hotel. Fourth, measure record. Fifth, add predetermined max to drink. Six, reduce liquor from inventory. Seventh, prepare liquor requisition. Eight, compute compute liquor cost by brand sold. Nine, calculate requisite on check. Ten, identify payments recall that is cash, check, credit card. Eleven, record guest check number. Twelve, record date and time of sales. Open bar. A bar at special functions at which the drinks have been paid for the mall for the for by the host or a prepared to the admission fees. Hydrometer. Hydrometer device for measuring some characteristics of a liquid. In short, it measures liquid density and specific gravity. Spatter. Based on my research, spatter is a person sent into a bar by the owner or major manager to conduct a secret quality control review of the bar staff or it's considered uh, in the restaurant. Here is the one of an example of standard recipe cost sheet. And the question is, how do you calculate standard recipe cost? You take the cost of your ingredients and then you break it down into units, such as per pounds of eggs, you then multiply this per unit prices by the number of units you use and, and then add all these individual prices to find the total food cost for your dish this is your food cost and the second one how to calcula calculate food cost step one break up each dish into a, its ingredients step two calculate the cost of each dish Step 3. Figure out your fixed cost per meal served. Step 4. Calculate what percentage of your menu price comes from food. And step 5. Determine to get food cost. And lastly, step 6. For established restaurants. As purchased AP most food service products are delivered in the AP or as purchased state. This refers to the weight or count of a product as delivered to the food service operator. Edible portion EP refers to the weight of a product after it has been cleaned, trimmed, cooked, and portioned. Thus, AP refers to food products as the operator receives them, and EP refers food products as the guest receives them. Yield test is a procedure used for computing your actual EP cost on a product that will experience weight or volume loss during preparations. Waste is the percentage of product lost due to cooking, trimming, portioning, or cleaning. Yield percent is important in the area of recipe costing. This is true because recipe costs must take into account the difference in price of products in their AP or EP state. Edible portion cost or EP cost is the cost of item after cooking, trimming, portioning, or cleaning. The EP cost is useful to know because it represents the cost to you based on product yield. Attainable product cost is defined as a cost of goods sold figure that should be achievable given the product sales, 
mix of a particular operation. Peace.